What we have here is the type of fan cycling switch that is normally used in a refrigeration type of condensing unit. This type of system will become obsolete soon and will be replaced by electronic unit controllers such as this one by Emerson. Hello my viewers. Yesterday I had the opportunity to check out the new EUC, that's electronic unit controller, for new Emerson condensing units which is for medium and low temperature applications for coolers and freezers. Many of you older techs realize that the industry has been going towards uh, using electronic devices for controls and this is a perfect example of that. From now on when you see a box that has a condenser unit for a walk-in cooler or freezer, take note of this orange sticker right here. And what does this mean? It means that it contains a condensing unit with an electronic unit controller or EUC. And when you open the box you'll notice that it has this brochure in it and this is not something that you simply discard. Hang on to it, make copies of it, share it with your friends and the reason is because you're going to need this to troubleshoot the electronic unit controller. It contains all the information about how to set up your controller and it also has all the alarm codes. And just in case you do throw away your quick setup guide, here is what it looks like right here. See, so there's your alarm codes right down there very very important to have okay first of all to get into the quick setup to set up your low pressure parameters you hit the set button and then the down arrow for five seconds by the way uh, and then that is going to put you into the cut in mode and hit set again and right now your cut in for low pressure is set at 23 so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, bump that up a little bit to about about 34 and good and then to lock that in you press set and set again and good and that's locked in now to set up your cut out parameter you set set and then you can uh, bump the pressure to wherever you want the cut out to be in this case you will put it about 15 psig so then you hit set to lock that in and hit set again and there you go and to then to get out of the setup set and the up arrow and there you have it. So if the system has been running it'll show you have both fans running one and two you see the little icons over here in the, in the corner and also when the system goes into alarm it'll come up with a, like a little red triangle and also it'll display the alarm in this case we have an HA an HA means high condenser temperature alarm okay when the condensing temperature goes back down then the alarm will 
uh, go out on its own, the system will resume running. Now if you want to check what the last alarm was, like a, uh, uh, an alarm history, you can press the upper left button, sort of looks like a little book or something, and it'll tell you HP, and to note that you are in the alarm mode, you'll see the yellow book, so you can move up and down and show the alarms. And right now, as you can see, you have an alarm HA, and that's still the high condenser temperature alarm. And it'll alternate and show you what the current uh, con suction pressure is. And here you have an alarm DLT, and that means you have a discharge temperature alarm and uh, it'll resume as soon as the discharge temperature goes back down and the compressor will will then come back up and running although the yellow book that you see flashing right now simply means that you have a history of that alarm so that if you weren't there at the time that the system went into alarm you can press this button right here the alarms history button and see what it went out on alarm so that you can make repairs take note of the green flashing item here this means that the compressor is locked out at the moment and you'll see when it goes out of alarm that the green compressor will stop flashing and of course uh, like any electronics or any mechanical parts they fail so when or let's hoping many years down the road if this particular EUC were to fail, it's easy enough to remove and replace. Oh, and also, I would like to thank Baker Distributing for allowing us to make the video at their store. Thanks a lot. There you go.